Remember when you wanted to be a pilot, a doctor, an engineer, a lawyer, because you wanted to be on an episode of It's Top Billing. Little did you know that people that appear on Top Billing work at work. They smell like the hawks. They smell like they are going under the jail. Yes, I watched that one episode that I'm about to talk about with my mother. And she said education is the key to success. Goopy Poppy. Poppy. Where's the education? Where's the key? Where's the success? Hmm? Where? Is it in Lord of the Rings? Maybe it's in, on the Game of Thrones. I don't know. Hmm? House of Dragons? I don't know. Why am I talking about series? I don't know. Maybe it's because I haven't caught up. When did I last watch Game of Thrones? I, don't, I need to. Gyan amugela kunqobe yami bomt abaka chat bomt abaka koko bomt abaka anti bomt abaka sisi I am Sims and it's at the right Sims on Instagram so please uh, follow your sister Xavier I need a drink <laughs> Hi bo guys let us tell you about the story that is currently unfolding. And this story is about a couple that we got to know and love on an episode of a Top Billing. Remember when Top Billing, guys, was the show to go to? Like, if you're not on Top Billing, you're not rich enough. You are not that enough. You are. Enough is not who you are. Okay? If you're not on Top Billing, you are wrong in Akrimon. And we are the better in Akrimon. Now, let us talk about this couple. Let me get, grab my phone quickly. Oh, and guys, like, like a studio, guys. I love my studio. Floyd bought me a charger to charge my phone because it was flat. So can I just read this episode for you? Not this episode. This in English. I'm looking at English because English wants to betray me when it's not supposed to betray me. English, your voice, your voice, your boy. Anyway. He, this is the couple. So the husband is Mashudu Shandukani, right? And his wife is Opriti Shandukani, right? Sharp. Mashudu is an engineer. Pretty a geologist. They left the corporate space to go into consulting. Now they are under the investigation. Let us read what has risen upon them. I love it when my English comes out. Mashudu Shandugani and his wife Priti Shandugani's connections with the National Lotteries Commission. 12 properties connected to the National Lotteries Commission are among the assets that the SIU have been able to freeze thanks to the preservation order. The sole director of Ma Yini, the sole director of Mshanduka Holdings and principal contractor for a project Funded by the lottery is Mashudu Shandukani. And because of their shared signatures on the banks, the pair is also associated with the Shandukani Foundation. The assets of the couple will be frozen until the matter is settled. Mm, that word that I can't pronounce. While the SIU conducts its investigation. Guys, you can sleep in my children's bedroom while your assets are frozen, okay? It's just that, will you buy the 2kg while you're sleeping at my house? Because I know when your assets are frozen, you don't even have a bank account to... Did you open a time bank in the meantime? Did you have a cash send in the meantime? That's the only way I can allow you to sleep in my house while all of this is happening to you. The National Lotteries Commission is allegedly involved in acts of corruption, fraud, and money laundering. These claims are the subject of the SIU investigation into Mashudu and Priti Shandukani. The couple is charged with obtaining profitable contracts from the NLC through their business, Mshanduka Holdings, and misusing their money for their own benefit. I knew they didn't buy those bricks they built their house at Builders Warehouse. I knew cash builders not involved. I just, I could just smell it. The SIU has gathered proof of, number one, unusual payments and transactions. Number two, exaggerated quotations and bills. Number three, unwarranted 
payments made to Shanduka Holdings. Number four, project delivery failure as a result of the inquiry. These are the people that were supposed to build a bridge from my house to my ex's house. But did they do it? No. Now they are going under the jail. Let me tell you something about people that work at work. When you work at work, and get you touch this, you touch that, you, you, you put the money there, you put the money there. When you are hired to do a job, don't neglect all of the job. Do if you're booked to do 10 houses, maybe do 80 and then eat the money for 20. Don't eat the money for 99 and only build one house. You will be caught. You will be catched. Like, it's like sometimes you guys that work at work need, you need more Uzi than Truets. Because why am I, me, a legal worker who doesn't work at work, know how to do these things? Guys, what happens when people see money? Like, what happens when greed attacks you? Please, this is the apple that was on the tree when Eva told Adam to eat it. Because there is, there is no other way to explain this. This is the greed that is spoken about in the Bible. It's like people that have a six-pack already, and then they go and get a BBL. Like, this is the greed in the Bible. Like, what's wrong with you? Okay, I'm the one in need of a BBL. But do you see me stressing? No. Why? No, I don't. I wanted to be philosophical, but the words weren't coming, like, to me in the philosophical state. But all I'm saying is that before we congratulate people, we need to start literally looking into the books. This is why I shouldn't have left accounting class. You know, I quit accounting to do tourism because I was learning. No, don't look at me like that. I really did. I really did. Guys, I, I, I don't know how to balance. This is why I could not have four relationships at one time because I didn't know how to balance. That's why you remember when I told you, Guti, my two sugar daddies, they bugged me because I couldn't balance the relationships. My focus, when I focus here, I stop focusing here. And then this one is going to... So balancing is not my thing. This is why accounting is not my thing. This is why I left it and I went to tourism, which is what is helping me on this channel. Because I tour. I do a tour of different topics. I do a tour of talking about different people. I do a tour of Mgosi. You see? So I do things that apply directly in my life. It is like when Shakespeare slept with Zoleka. I know it doesn't make sense right now. But when you go back, you'll understand that Shakespeare slept with Zoleka so that Zinzi can be relevant on generations. This is where we leave today's topic. But before we do, we'll get someone else for the push. Ah, uh ah, -uh, don't look at me like that. Ah, uh ah. -uh. I don't know how. <laughs> I think the industry. I don't know. Wicked Samuel is supposed to be my colleague in the divorce court, right? My divorce. I didn't get a Porsche. Obuse, her divorce is not even finalized, but she just got a brand new Porsche. Is it maybe because her birth equipment is delivering gold, unlike ours? That is delivering children at Bara. Hmm? What is Wutle's birth equipment doing that we are not doing? Hmm? Wutle is that girl that when we are in the queue to get Makwenya, Wutle is in the queue to get a newspaper to see which guy has been promoted to be a CEO. She knows all the roots. The roots that lead to the right butcher. Stop buying your meat. A pick and pay. No, pick and pay. It's, not, it's nothing against you. You must go to a butchery that is strictly for vors. You know, so that you can see this vors is 60 rand, this vors is 40 rand, this vors is 90 rand. Okay. Mm -mm. I'm still drinking, guys. It's fr I, Okay, I'm recording this on a Friday. So I'm still drinking. So don't say, ah, it seems... Yes, this is not your mother's place, this place, this is my place. I will drink and take a break. Oh, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Guys, like, my sister's studio, countdown, 
Kona banta ba yenza ma. Hey, it's 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 too much. It's too professional sometimes. Anyway, guys, please also, as I keep forgetting, also thank you. I needed this time to remind you. Don't forget that we have been nominated for two awards, right? One award is the best female YouTuber, right? And I'm nominated against yo. Oh, ah, eh, eh, let me not tell you I'm nominated against because the focus must be on me. And then the other award is for the best YouTuber, right? So I'm telling you, vote any and do the relevant things. Next thing you're going to see me being successful, driving six cars at once. And then you're going to think I'm acting on the Fast and the Furious. Can't you know? It's because you guys voted for me to win these awards. Ankeri. Ankeri. Yes. So please vote for management. Let us go up, upper, and upper. I don't know what is in here. But this thing tastes like everything is going to be okay. This drink tastes like my channel is going to get to 200,000 subscribers. This drink tastes like when I met Joseph. Not Joseph, Mary's ex, Jesus' stepfather. Not that Joseph. When I met my Joseph, okay? Joseph, who worked at that Chinese food shop, he used to make me such nice chow mein until when I dumped him and then I was order number 65 and then he was saying order number 64 and then he jumped order number 65 and said order number 69. Joseph, you can't be still Peter. I broke up with you like before I even knew what I'm going to be seeing right. Joseph, you still make the best chow mein. Joseph, Please deliver that chow into my house. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm with Baba Snake Konamanji. But it doesn't stop you from delivering your chow to my place. For now, I will leave this video here. Thank you.